Holiday Partridge Plate, a simple version. Here are the supplies that you will need. First of all, start out with a cone 04 bisque and use a damp sponge to wipe down the bisque to remove any dust that may keep the glaze from adhering. We're going to base coat the front of this plate with FN001 White Foundations Glaze. Foundations is the glaze for all of your artwork. So use the RB144 No. 4 Soft Band Brush and lay down a good coat. Notice that it is a long, flowing coat of glaze to the front of the bisque. You're going to allow the shine to go away before applying the next coat. This allows the glaze to have some tooth and to grab hold of the next layer. Notice how the brush is fully loaded. They're long, flowing coats all in the same direction. Cross hatching is not necessary. A good rule of thumb is that you don't want to see the bisque on the very first coat of glaze. That way you know you have it on there good. When all three cups of glaze is dry, use one sheet of AC230 clay carbon paper to transfer on the pattern. Note, always test the paper to make sure that the transfer side is down. You don't want to spend a lot of time transferring and then realize the pattern's not there. So lay down the, the clay carbon paper under the bisque, make a mark with your pencil, and if it transfers on, you've got it. If it doesn't, flip the paper over and try it again. Once you have the correct side, you're going to lay down the clay carbon paper under the bisque, put the pattern on top of the clay carbon paper, and trace with a pen. I like using a red pen because it shows where you have already traced. Note, if the glaze is still damp, it will not transfer, so make sure that the glaze is dry. For the next step, you want to use your RB106 number no. 6 script liner and have the RB110 10-aught detail liner ready. You're going to squeeze out about the size of a teaspoon of SC92 Cafe Au Lait and then load the script liner completely full so that you can do a nice long coat of glaze to the top of the bird's head, the back, and below the chest. The script liner is meant to hold a lot, a lot of glaze so that you can pull it and lay down a good coat. None of these short little choppy brush strokes. Now that you have coat all of those, while the first coat is drying, you're going to go to the pear and the leaves. For the pear, squeeze out about a quarter size of SC42 Butter Me Up. For the apple, you're going to squeeze out about the same amount of glaze of SC27 Sour Apple. Using the same brush, your script liner, lay down one good coat of the Butter Me Up for the pears, same thing for the sour apple. And then when all of those are done, you're going to go back and add on your next coat. Now notice on the brush stroke, it's laying down, pulling it towards you, twisting and lifting up. That gives you a nice point on all of the leaves. Repeat this process until you have two good coats on everything.
The wing of the partridge is going to alternate between SC96 awkward and SC65 periwinkle. The breast of the partridge is going to be two coats of SC65 periwinkle and then fill in the wings going between each section. It's okay if the colors overlap a little bit and blend in the edges. For the stems and the branches, use your RB110 Tinot Detail Liner and SC14 Java Bean. It's going to be two coats and that'll give you good coverage. On the eye, use the detail liner and your cafe au lait. Paint in the eye, and then with the back of the brush, dot the eye with SC15 Tuxedo for the pupil. Now you're gonna go back to the Java Bean and your detail liner. One good coat of the feather coming off of the head with Java Bean, and also the beak. Notice there's a little line that kind of connects the eye with the body and the beak. That's also java bean. You want to draw that line. Now, go back to the wings. This has given you time for the first coat to dry and you can apply the second coat. If by any chance you get any of those colors onto the cafe au lait, just take the cafe au lait, paint over it, and clean it up. If you accidentally get some color onto the white areas, take a brush with just water, no glaze, and wipe it up. It'll remove the glaze off of there, leaving you the nice white background. Okay, you have all the background done. Let's do some detailing. Dip your detail liner into water. Sneak it into the edge of the tuxedo and kind of pull it out, blending those two colors, the water and the color together, so that it's going to flow in nice and thin. When you outline, if you hold your paintbrush like a pencil, you're going to have fatter, wider lines. If you hold it up and down or perpendicular, using your little finger to rest against the plate, you can stay on the tip and give lighter or smaller lines. Reload frequently, and don't forget to kind of blot it off so you don't have a big blot of glaze on the bottom of the brush. Pour out a little bit of SC15 Tuxedo. A dime's worth will be more than enough. And let's do some detailing. Once you have the front to the point where you like it, flip it over, use your soft fan brush, and apply three coats of SC65 Perry Twinkle to the back of the plate.
Allow everything to dry, stilt it, and fire it to cone 06 or 05. Everything is going to fire to a lovely glossy finish.